Let's take a look at booleans in ZBrush. So first of all, I'm going to just have everything turned off. Um, if Lightbox is on, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that to close it. And then I'm going to go over here in Tool. And if you don't see that, I just this is Tool. I'll just drag it over here. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to go ahead and drag it into the view and then hit Edit. Make sure my perspective is turned on, and then I can kind of rotate it around. Okay, great. Now that I have that, um, the key to making this work is I want to first make this a poly mesh 3D cube. Okay, great. Now on sub tool here, I'm going to go ahead and add or append, I should say, a cylinder. Okay, I just appended a cylinder and I don't see it because it's sitting right in there. So if I go to move, I can bring this up. In fact, I want to bring the cylinder up. And then I grab this center one and I can scale this down. Okay, great. So now I've got um, a cylinder in the cube. Okay, two shapes. This one's a PolyMesh 3D. This one doesn't even need to be. But now what I can do is I can click on Live Boolean right here. And then these icons here on the layer, on the subtool layer, I'm going to go ahead and start right there that arrow that's going to start the process and then here I can choose what I want okay this one's going to union them together so it'll just become one this one the cylinder is going to take kind of like a cookie cutter like a negative and then this one's going to be just what the intersection is and what's cool I think this one's kind of the easiest one to see it I can still move the cylinder around and if we want to kind of visualize what that is, if I turn on transparency, you can see this is what I'm really doing. I'm just moving this cylinder, and wherever it cuts through, it's going to create that um, hole. And I could even probably scale this thing up big enough, yeah, and then it comes out the other side. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, so really, I feel like a neat way to create this. I'm going to make this maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, and I can kind of see right here, you know, exactly what that is. And, okay, let's say if I like that, and if I want to kind of finalize this shape, because it's not, you can see this isn't really one shape right now. What I'm going to do is down here on Subtool, go down here to Boolean. I'm going to say Make Boolean Mesh. When I do that, you can see it becomes another mesh over here. So I can still kind of work with this. And I've got this kind of sitting in the wings. So I think what I want to do now is actually go like this. Maybe something more along this way. And I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to come down here and say make Boolean mesh. And there you can see I made another one. So now if I come back to this original shape here, notice that it's just my regular shape. If I look at the wireframe, wireframe is not super clean, but it, but it works. I could then append my other shape on. And now if I move this, now these are just two finalized shapes. I can see that if I wanted to, um, you know, maybe for 3D printing or whatever purpose, you can see that now this is kind of like a plug can kind of go in there. And um, this one's one solid piece. And this one's also one solid piece. So hopefully that kind of uh, clears up some things as far as, you know, what these icons are for and creating booleans in ZBrush.